Hello one and all and welcome to YouTuber Review, a show where we go through some of the biggest names in YouTube and analyze them for their quality of content, the current status of their channels, and the personalities they put behind it, while at the same time giving them a minor helping of criticism, but only as long as you spell minor like this. On our last episode, we had yet another volunteer come forward, that person being none other than the commentary channel, Sinnoh. A man famous for giving his opinions on basically every single different type of trending topic known to mankind, and as well for knowing Leafy since Leafy was a wee young lad, and then did a bunch of videos on him, and basically that exploded his channel. Honestly, just look at these two videos side by side, it speaks for itself. And although Sinnoh is a commentary channel, he decided to take a different approach than many other commentary channels because instead of using his own character, well he stole a Futurama character, because fuck you. And even though Sinnoh is a member of the commentary community, he actually takes a few pages from the playbook and switches them up a little bit, doing a few things that a lot of other commentary channels do not do. But since this is just the introductory, yeah we're gonna get into that a little bit later. Just keep in mind that we are covering a commentary channel, so if you see anything in the background that, well, looks a little bit familiar, that that's the reason it's we have to go after trending stuff. Honestly, it's basically the law at this point. And at least on Sinnoh's channel, he actually condenses a bunch of the big stories that are going on at any time and just puts them on to one subject under one video, which in my opinion is a really great thing to do. So with that being said, let's just get right into Sinnoh's channel. The YouTube commentary channel known as Sinnoh, according to his about page, tells us that his name is indeed Sinnoh, and that he enjoys massive rave parties. Best description 10 out of 10 would read again. Oh yeah, and it also tells us that he joined the wonderful site known as YouTube on January 19th of last year, but no one cares about that, we just care about the parties. And over that year and a half, he has gained himself quite a healthy following. That's a lot of Futurama fans. However, one of the most shocking things is that the first video available on Sinnoh's channel was only posted about three months ago, which really, that that's not that long ago. And of course, what better subject matter for it to be on than Keemstar? It, it always has to be Keemstar. Let's get on. Get on. that likely burned into your mind forever, let's take a look at Sinnoh's first video, Keemstar Killed Me, Gone Chemo. The following video shows what happens when any person watches a drama alert video. Please watch with viewer discretion, real nooses reviews. Into the news! And then he died to death. Yep, right here. This was his final video. This is it. He died right here. All the rest of his videos have just been scheduled upload, you know? That's right, guys. Even the stuff that he made videos on that didn't even happen when he made that video, it, it, it makes sense if you don't think about it, you know? He's the Tupac of YouTube. But believe it or not, that first video was not the end of Sinnoh's rage against the McKeem. I mean, on his channel alone, there are three, three whole other videos just on Keemstar alone. And Sinnoh's if you want to count these ones. Seriously, you think he's a bit obsessed at this point. But believe it or not, that video on Keemstar actually wasn't his first video on the channel. I mean, seriously, three months ago. I mean, honestly, this channel's been around for over a year. You'd have to think that he made some content before he made the Keemstar video. And the short answer to that is he did. He actually did used to make a lot of content, and we learn about that in the Leafy video. But more on that later. For now, let's just take a look at how he's improved in his videos from his first one to his newest one, the Lieutenant Corbus callout. Corbus stresses the point of lack of diversification in the originality in smaller YouTubers and future aspiring YouTubers, chastising the community because of its lack of innovative content. However, this is the same girl who nine months ago posted CSGO surf commentary and posted videos sounding almost exactly like Leafy. It's almost extremely hypocritical to preach originality and non-Leafy-like content when she too commenced her channel speaking almost exactly like Leafy. 
As you can tell, there's a major difference between this video and this first one, because this video has taken on the same commentary channel format that, well, a lot of us know and questionably love. However, the only difference with Sinnoh being he doesn't fill the talking time with random gameplay, he either fills it with the clip itself, or he fills it with his character. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, stolen character. Because I'm sure this has been copyrighted several times. But honestly, this style, I do it myself, and I may be a little bit biased in saying this, but I honestly prefer this over just having random unassociated gameplay along with all the rest of the video. For me, it helps keep everything on track and helps everything flow together better. Not to say that he's never dabbled in gameplay commentaries himself, he definitely has. If you look at his bottle flipping video, there's gameplay throughout the entire thing. But in his newer videos, he has luckily moved away from this format and has used the format that we saw in his video that just came out. So congratulations, props to you, you get your very own round of applause. And something that I also found really cool about Sinnoh is that, well, he actually didn't monetize a lot of his early videos. That's right, that whole first video about Keemstar that we watched, it, it's not monetized on his channel. That video made zero money. And seriously, until about four videos ago, his entire channel was supported completely by fan donations. That's right, the only money he got were from fans who enjoyed his content enough to donate to him. And although he makes his videos that he puts out now monetized, it was originally a cool concept. And another thing that Sinnoh does that really no other commentator channels have ever really tried to do is real life comedy skits. Because seriously, you, you had to get up and film this, that, that's fucking effort man. I mean even if it is a Dolan dark face reveal, I, everyone knows that Dolan is just a duck that one day woke up and magically learned how to use a computer and edit videos together. He's a very talented duck, okay? Now let's talk a little bit about his editing style. Because generally, it's a bunch of fast jump cuts between different scenes of a video, sometimes throwing his character in, and then throwing up a few screenshots as the video itself plays along. And then for seemingly no reason, he cuts to black when he's just finishing a point. Make and kickstart this Keemstar exposed train that soon came after. Really, I think he overuses the black screen a little too much. Because a cut to black is supposed to symbolize a really major point, or something serious that you're trying to say. Just cutting to black when you're finishing a point, well, it just seems like you could have just used video for it. But now that I've talked about that, it's time that we get into a point that I said I was going to get to a bit earlier. That point being that this video right here was not his first video. Sinnoh, as we find out in his Leafy is Here video and how he got big, he reveals that he himself used to make Minecraft videos. And I can only assume that he did this on another channel, which unfortunately for this review I was unable to locate. You would know that he and I were both Minecraft YouTubers at one point in time. Which, you know, he even shows a bunch of videos from Leafy when he did Minecraft in this video. And uh, actually, I want to see Sinnoh's Minecraft Let's Plays. That, I think that would be pretty interesting. Sinnoh, so, buddy, hook me up with that channel link. I'm interested. And as far as his uploading schedule goes, he seems to upload at least one video every two days or so. But now is the point of the video where we take a look at Sinnoh and see who he is as a person. Well, first things first, he looks like a this. He's very good at playing piano. He used to do Minecraft videos. He has a Patreon, but he doesn't really push it on people. He does not like FoozyTube. He does not like Misha. He does not like Sniper Wolf. Correction, he doesn't like her boyfriend. He doesn't like Keemstar. He thinks Onision is confusing, which, to be honest, yeah. He has met a wild Leafy. He has dealt with people scamming him on Patreon. And unfortunately, earlier this year, he did have his Twitter hacked. And with that being said, I feel it's time to give Sinnoh a score. If you are unfamiliar of how we rate channels on the show, we sort them under four categories. A 9 to 10 being a subscribe, a 6 to 8 being check them out, a 4 to 5 maybe watch one of their videos, or a 1 to 3, meaning if you see it, you should run the opposite direction. So where does Sinnoh stand on this list? All in all, I'm going to have to give him a 6 out of 10 or check him out. And I say this just because Sinnoh himself does make some pretty good content, although it is kind of redundant stuff, as it is almost always about really trending topics. And as far as his editing goes, it just needs that little bit extra to push it over the top. That being said though, if you enjoyed anything of his that you saw, there's a really good chance that you're going to like it. especially if you are a fan of the commentary genre already. Just prepare for a lot of unnecessary cuts to black. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and check them out. The link will be down in the description. But with that being said, it is once again time to spin the mighty wheel of selection.
Oh my god, we got the completionist. Holy shit, guys. 12 episodes in, and finally we got a video game channel. This, I didn't think they existed at this point. Keep an eye out for this one. It's going to be amazing. That being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. I would love a new addition to the Snake Army. Be sure to check out Sinnoh's channel. It is on screen right now. It's the major box. Just go ahead and click it. It'll send you right there, and you can check out any of his videos that you like. Again, I would have liked to score him higher, but those cuts to black really annoyed me a lot. Also, make sure to go follow me on Twitter. I do a lot of updates and stuff there. You get sneak peeks to future videos, and you also get to participate in polls and help decide what my future videos are going to be. Also, if you don't feel like doing that, I have three other options listed below. Just click any of them. It'll send you to their page. Make sure to let them know I sent you. But that being said, guys, I will see you on the next video tomorrow. As always, Whiplash, signing out.